Hey everyone, SBTWRC here. Lately, I have been nursing my side mirrors. The right one had a big crack in it, and finally the left mirror just actually broke off the mount. So here we go, APR Performance GT3 Carbon Fiber Mirror Set. This is a big thank you to everyone who's watching the videos, all the subscribers, everyone who's supporting the channel. This is because of you. This is for you. Here we go. Right out of the box, you can tell that these things weigh absolutely nothing. It's a pre-impregnated carbon fiber shell with a tinted convex mirror so you can see blind spots. The shipping was fantastic. Really awesome foam rubber. These things came out in perfect condition from the package. The kit contains hardware and all the instructions you need. You'll need to remove each door card to get to some of the hardware to remove the side mirrors. You're going to need a pick, a Phillips head screwdriver, and possibly a panel tool, but it's not needed. First, there are two little flaps that you need to pick open. Each flap contains a Phillips head screw underneath. Remove both of the screws from each of the flaps. Remove the door lock and window control unit. And there's another Phillips head screwdriver underneath. Remove that as well. Now take the electrical connections and push in on the tab while pulling up on the plastic on top and it'll remove the pigtail connectors. Use a pick to remove the small shroud that covers the door handle. Now you can take a panel tool or you can use your hands and just work your way around all the pop clips. This is only secured on by clips right now. Once the clips are popped off, you can remove the door towards you and up towards the ceiling, and that'll lift it up past these two little pink clips, or sorry, cherry blossom red for all of you STI fans out there. Here we take a quick look at the door card inside. Here's a part number. USDM STIs do not have fold-in mirrors. They just have mirrors that you can adjust. I don't know if there's multiple plugins, but for the USDM, there's only one. Using a panel tool or your little fingers, pry this up. They're only held in by pop clips, and there's a little padding on the back. Don't lose that. There are four Phillips head screws that hold the mirror to its bracket. The fourth one's a little tricky, and you also want to use a magnet to retrieve that bolt, because if that falls down inside of the door, <laughs> you're in trouble. Now you can remove the mirror from the outside, snaking the electrical connection through this little hole. And there you have it. Each of the door card removals are identical, as well as the mirrors. So just do the same thing on the other side. This is for all you that are super serious about your weight savings. Once again, let's go to the tail of the tape. We're going to get the old food grade scale out and see what we can do. We're looking at pounds, two pounds, four and a quarter ounces, right? Dude, that's incredible. 14 and an eighth of an ounce, three quarters of a pound, is that correct? You are receiving a dramatic reduction in field of vision, but what I did notice is that the angle of this mirror, the way it's shaped, you actually see more through the APR mirror. Let's see the camera, and then we'll take the APR. See how much of the camera and how, how much of the sides of the camera you can see? Look at that. The first part of the installation is to remove the stock jam nut that came pre-installed from the factory on the back of your bracket. Use the 5mm hex key that they provided. Then insert the ball stud through the bracket so that the threaded section sticks out. Then drop the washer in and then tighten the locking stud and run it all the way down. Then use one of the shiny locking studs and use the 5mm hex and tighten that as much as possible. That will create tension on the ball stud and aid your adjustability when you go to move the J-arm. Attach the carbon fiber mirror to the J-rod and then reinstall the screw to hold everything in place. An 8mm open end wrench will help you attach the J-arm to the ball stud. Experiment with a different combination of the stock hardware and the hardware supplied in the APR kit. It looks absolutely incredible. Let's see how it does out on the road. 
really am surprised how much you can see out of the convex mirror. It's got a really nice blue haze tint to it, so it doesn't really give off any sun glare. It's got great adjustability. And that's all we have for the APR mirror kit. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications and smash that like button for me guys. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. We will see you more in 2018. Later on everyone. Bye bye.